Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you a short oval sculptured nail, and I will be using natural acrylic and red velvet nail lacquer. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your clients' hands with Sanitize, 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 available in peach and gardenia. Remove the polish with peach or gardenia polish remover. Etch the nail with the 100 grit purple terminator etcher. Go with the way the nail grows. Properly etching the nail eliminates 75% of lifting. Go with the way the nail grows, putting little scratches in the entire nail. Make sure there's no shiny spots. This makes little heels and valleys on the nail so the acrylic can adhere to the natural nail. Now I'm going to use the trigium stone. Push back the cuticle and make sure there's no skin grown up on the nail. If there's any skin grown up on the nail, this could cause lifting. Dust off the nail with a plastic manicure brush. Make sure you get all the dust off. If there's any dust left on the nail, it'll clog up your little heels and valleys, and this makes your acrylic not adhere properly. Now I'm going to apply non-lifting nail primer. And I always keep my nail primer in a primer holder and then I have a little wipe it so I can dab off excess primer. Make sure you don't get any primer on the skin. I wipe off my brush before I put it back in the bottle so I make sure there's no contamination. Now I'm going to apply my competitive edge double thick gold nail form. Put a curve in the form. And the double thick form makes the C-curve stay in the form. So even if you forget to squeeze, you're still going to have a C-curve in the nail. And put the curve underneath the free edge. Stick down the sides. Stick down the little wings. Now I'm not going to squeeze together the tip here because I want it to be a little bit wider. I will be using the original formula natural acrylic. The first coat of primer dried. This kills the germs on the nail and dries out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply the second coat of primer. The wet primer and the wet acrylic cause a really good adhesion on the nail to prevent lifting. So you always want to make sure the second coat of primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. Now to make a short oval, you're going to make the nail a square, and then we're going to file it oval. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, a little bit less liquid, smaller ball. Place this ball onto the free edge area, let it flow. One, two, three, pat it out. Bring it straight out from the nail groove. Pat it out. Straight out from the nail groove. Get a nice square. Bring in the tip. When you make the oval square first and then you shape it with the file, it's going to be really strong. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away. Small ball, place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow. One, two, three, then stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. This is a small ball, place this ball one thirty-second inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards me, 
place this ball almost at the cuticle, release liquid by pressing down with your brush and then stroke it out, side, side, center. And stroke it out. Wipe off your brush. The nail is no longer shiny and I'm going to squeeze the C-curve. Start down at the nail bed and work your way out. Get a nice curve in the nail. This will make the nail appear more narrow and make it really strong. Especially when you're filing to make it a short oval, you want to make sure it's very strong with a C-curve. Having a good C-curve in the nail makes it really strong. I'm going to be filing off these sides to make an oval and I still want the nail to be very strong and not break. I will be using the long lasting 180 Zebra to file the nail in five steps. But before I start, I'm going to score the edges. This makes the file softer around the edges so it doesn't cut the cuticle. I'm going to dispose of my etcher. So you can have a new etcher for every client. My first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the right. And I want to make sure I turn the finger sideways so I can see it really good. Set the file underneath and come straight out from the nail groove. Step number two, come straight out from the nail groove on the left. Set your file underneath, come straight out. To shape the free edge, if I wanted to have a square, I would hold my file straight up and down a square oval slightly angled and an oval almost flat. I'm going to go straight across. I'm filing off these corners and the sides. And I keep going straight across until that free edge starts ovaling out. As soon as the free edge is flush with the file, you know you have a nice even oval. Step number four is the top of the nail. File down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side using nice long strokes. Use your shoulder when you're filing versus your wrist. If you use your wrist, you're going to get really tired. But if you use your shoulder and use nice long strokes, it's really easy to file. Then we're going to file around that little road. You have acrylic, natural nail cuticle. I'm going to set my file in that road. File around the cuticle area, making sure the acrylic is flush with the natural nail. Double down on the side. Cross the top. Down on the other side. Make sure it's flush. Nice and smooth. Step number five, turn the nail around and file the nail from the client's angle, beveling down towards the tip. Make sure it's nice and even, nice and smooth. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks. I'm going to buff the nail with my clean finish buffing file. Nice long strokes. Make sure you get all the way around that cuticle area. Get it nice and smooth. Now you can use your clean finish buffing file dry with water or with oil. I'm going to be buffing with oil because I'm going to be applying regular nail lacquer. And when I buff with oil, it gets all the scratches out of the nail and makes the nail really, really smooth. Nice long strokes. Get the nail nice and smooth. Go around your edges. Have the client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft soak and plastic manicure brush. Since I will be using nail lacquer, I like to put a little bit of polish remover in a plastic dish. 
and use an old brush to clean up around the edges if I get any on the skin. I will be using Color Grip Base Coat. When I apply the Color Grip, I like to apply it in nice long strokes. Cap the tip. I will be applying Red Velvet Nail Lacquer. I always apply nail lacquer in long strokes and I make sure I have plenty of polish on my brush. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip. Apply the second coat. Make sure you get plenty of polish on your brush. So dip your brush in. Just wipe away one side. And nice long strokes. Now I'm going to apply Z Coat, a non yellowing high gloss top coat. Apply it in nice long strokes. Cap the tip. Now we have the short oval sculptured nail with red velvet nail lacquer. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.